I love a strong black woman and here in Monique, no matter what y'all think, this is a strong African-American woman who stands by what she said. Also, fireworks went off at the breakfast club on yesterday. Yup, let's break this down, guys. Yup. What's up, YouTube lands? Hope you guys are having a great start to your morning. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel, NC Tub TV. So let's just jump right into this commentary, shall we? So today I wanna talk about Killer Mike and DJ Envy actually having some words about education and they were talking about children going to different schools like if parents are millionaires and they put their kids through private school versus the regular kid that has average day-to-day -day working moms and dads that work nine to fives that go to public schools. Killer Mike felt that it was a slap in the face when you go to an African-American school in a sense and you don't achieve, but yet if your parents were to strike gold, and become millionaires or become comfortable enough to afford a private school, you will go to someone else's private school and then perform and excel and make the grades that you need to. And I'm in agreement with Killer Mike. You know, the thing about our community, guys, is that if you take a look at something just as simple as this, if you go around the world, at least 90% of the Martin Luther King avenues or drives are ghetto and poverty stricken in a sense. And we as a people, we won't keep it clean, but we'll go to somebody else's side of town where it's green, where it looks upscale and we treat it differently. So if you take like the Booker T Washington schools all across the world and you have our own people, our own children, as a matter of fact, going to those schools and they're not doing well. It's a smack in the face to our culture. You should want to uplift and you should want to do well in a school that's named after someone of your community. Now, where things kind of went left is when DJ Envy blamed it on the teachers in those specific schools. And Killer Mike was like, nah, stop the show. You're not going to disrespect the teachers at all. Not in my presence. The teachers that work hard every day to teach these students, you're not going to disrespect the teachers and say that they're any less than the teachers that teach at these private schools because of the big names. Now, let me just say this about education. Education is a tool to have. It is a piece of paper that means something to your achievement that you went to school and that you are educated. But let me tell you this. There are many people that have degrees that are struggling, that are begging, that don't even have a decent career. And when you pull up to McDonald's and get your double cheeseburger, they're the ones telling you that that's a dollar and six cent and they're taking your money through the window. So don't get tripped up into this education thing that you mean less to someone just because you're not educated. There are a lot of people that are walking around that have the common sense to start their business better than someone that has a Princeton or Yale degree in some cases. They can take a business to the top because they have the street smarts and the common sense. So don't feel any less if you don't have an education, y'all. If you are granted the opportunity to go get an education, go and get it. Do not turn it down. People do look at your resume to see if you are educated these days. I think that education can be a fluke sometimes. I think it's a way or a small form of oppression because they know, especially in certain communities, that we may not have the resources to further our education. So they use those guidelines and standards to set barriers to say, well, you need this amount of education to be able to work here. But if my history serves me correct, 
a lot of the things that were brought into this world as far as inventions and things were not brought by men that were educated or women that were educated. Some of them had just common sense or they was just brilliant on their own. You know what I'm saying? So don't get caught up into this education thing. You can make it and excel without an education. It'll be a little bit harder, but you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. Now, the one thing that was so hilarious is when DJ Envy was trying to come back at Killer Mike with his perception and his assessment on education and things, you know, Killer Mike killed him with this. Killer Mike said, you went to private school and you went to college and you turned out to be a DJ. And he makes a fascinating point. It's like, okay, you ain't got all this education for whatever, but guess what? You turned out to be something that you could have been without an education. Now, by all means, I'm not denouncing education, so don't drop it, drop down in the comments and think that I'm coming for the educated ones because I'm not. Um, it's all good. But what I'm saying is this this whole notion that you can't be somebody without an education, it needs to be derailed and it needs to be, you know, looked at differently because you can be someone. Now, let's transition to the next story. Let me go. We? Now, I want to talk about Monique and Whoopi real quick. Now, I'm going to tell you guys straight up. I was behind Monique all the way when she came out against Netflix. I felt that too many people around the world and especially in our community downplayed what Monique was trying to say and what she was trying to accomplish. And anything that doesn't affect us personally, we don't really care about. So Netflix does not do anything but accommodate our wishes, especially when you want to relax and chill. What they say, Netflix and chill, right? But I was behind her 100 percent. And when Whoopi Goldberg uh, had a chance to talk to Monique face to face on a view, she was like she could have schooled Monique on what she should have done to keep her name off of the blackball list. And Monique basically came out after that and referred to Whoopi Goldberg as being nothing more and nothing less than the help. And it serves Whoopi right, because let me tell you something about our community, especially when it comes down to Hollywood, they will do what they need to do to look good in front of a certain community. And that is all that matters to them is that they get to where they need to be and be in position to be successful. Now, Monique is trying to fight for a certain cause where she's saying, listen, I'm not going to be that individual that is going to sit back and let you talk to me or just do me any kind of way. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to say what I need to say. So with her being outspoken, the narrative around Monique becomes that she's hard to deal with. Oh, my gosh, she's dreadful. Oh, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to even deal with her just because a woman decides to stand up for her rights. It seems that we have a collective problem just in the world with women taking a stand and being strong. But anyway, I want to make this point. A lot of us were saying, yo, you better take that $500,000 and be quiet. The Listen, you missed the big picture. All right. You're focused on how much money she turned down when you should have been focused on what she was saying. She was saying that she was being discriminated against and nobody paid attention to that. It was like, yeah, five hundred thousand dollars. You're being discriminated against. It's not about the money sometimes. And I wish I could drill that through our community's head. Sometimes it's not about the money. It's about principle. But anyway, guys, with that said, if you like this video, hit the like button. Also, share this video. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. Your boy's out, all right? Gone.